All right. Back? Hmm? Huh. So, C7371. <clears throat> so, this is a capacitor on PP bus G3 hot to ground, right around the CPU buck converter, which is going to take 8.6 volts and turn it into about 1.8 volts for the CPU. So, let's get that thing off and out of here. <clears throat> So oh, thank you for the person that left a nice comment before I hit stop streaming. Uh, Tony, appreciate the five pounds. Okay. So I forget if it was this one or this one. I'm going to... Let's see. I suppose I can just put a little bit of alcohol. It should be obvious from touching them which one it is. But it's not. Maybe the glove is doing that. Maybe just a little bit more alcohol. Yeah, it's really hard to tell on this short, honestly. Look, is it the one? Ah, uh, never mind. It's the one on the left. It's the one on the left. The left is is at fault here. Do not waste too much. All right. You may say that you could tell because there's solder balls coming out of it, but there's also solder balls by the right one. What's the best way to get started doing this? Uh, the best way to start is to begin. I know that sounds like trolling, but no, really. Just f find something broken, watch all the stuff here, and get started. You may find it fun or you may hate it, but one way to get started is to begin. Nice and wicked. This is completely the wrong soldering iron tip for this, but I don't feel like replacing it. We'll make this one work. Fine. That's beautiful. That's fine. That's fine. Gonna get a capacitor. I'll be damned. Thermal camera finally did me some good. Whoops, that was dumb. That was really dumb. All right, redo. Redo.
push it down, wait for it to dry. And maybe just to be nice, we'll dry off the rest of the board that I poured alcohol on. And we also got to replace that fuse. Remember that we did have a fuse that blew due to the short circuit. Yeah, so I'm just, from far away, I'll just try and get rid of all this alcohol. Did you see that Chris Long became a dad yesterday? I didn't. Congratulations to Chris Long. Good stuff. Smart people reproducing. I approve. Great stuff. Chris Long is a good person. I'm sure he's going to make an excellent father. Okay. Okay. I'm going after this bad fuse. Smash the like button, guys, says Abel. I don't have it in me to say that. Smash up the likes, folks. Smash up the likes while I shill a bunch of cryptocurrencies that I purchased before doing this video and recommending them to you. Smash up the likes. Smash up the... No. That's not something I can say with a straight face. Alrighty. I can't do accents today. Get a nice new fuse in there. Use solder with or without built-in flux. It has built-in flux. You can see the solder I use in the link in the description below. Yeah, I... My, I suck at accents today. Huh, my F key is stuck. Uh-oh. I think I got alcohol into my keyboard. Yep, I definitely destroyed my keyboard. <laughs> Whoops. 
Oh, well, I gotta dry that thing out later. All right, so we'll let this dry out for a moment. I like this new YouTube glitch where the chat just stops working for random periods of time. Great stuff. Let's see, what did I miss? The last one that was visible was 636. All right, so before we turn this back on, I'm going to go use some compressed air on my keyboard because <laughs> I would like to be able to have a working keyboard for the rest of the stream. Maybe that'll fix my problem. <laughs> It has a red light that flickers on it now. Let's see. Yep. I definitely destroyed it. Fail. Rest in peace. All right, so I'm probably going to end the stream after this since I don't have a keyboard, and that kind of really hampers the ability to do anything. So I'm going to put the power supply back up and manually click onto this, the, the mic above the desk camera. Here's the board. Put the voltage of my power supply back up to 18. And plug this in. As you can see, fan spin, fan spin, which means we are good, uh, except for the fact that there's no keyboard. Oh, so lame. Uh, that is that. So I am going to be getting out of here. And uh, as always, I hope you learned something.